Hey folks, it's the Samiad here. I just wanted to talk about the recent update Clay made and what you can do in it. Because I noticed the really big DST channels like Raising Hell, Edgy Rick, Volks, and Don Johnny hadn't gone into detail about it just yet, and it's pretty exciting stuff. They announced the Forge is finally coming back, and we're getting a new Halloween event soon, but I'm here to focus on the content they've finished adding right now. There's a new crafting tab that allows you to upgrade the Florid Postern into a gateway that lets you repick your character with no console commands or mods required. I'll be using console commands to get the gateway up and running in a timely manner, but this can absolutely be done in a legit world. The first thing you'll need to do is find a special Moonrock Boulder. This has a small chance to drop during meteor showers, and that's the only way to find it in a legit world. Its prefab name in the console is Rock Moon Shell, and you can recognize it immediately because it's rounder and flatter than the standard moon rock. Once you find the special boulder, break it open with a pickaxe. There will be an item inside called the Celestial Orb. The Celestial Orb functions like Maxwell's Codex Umbra. It gives crafting recipes and you can pick it up and carry it in your inventory, but it only allows you to access its crafting recipes when it's on the ground near you. You get two crafting recipes from the orb, the Moonrock Idol, which requires a Moonrock and a purple gem, and the Portal Paraphernalia, which requires a board and a rope. The portal paraphernalia can be applied to the florid postern, which covers it in tarps and scaffolding. If you give it an additional purple moon lens and 20 moon rocks, it will be permanently transformed into the celestial portal, which is identical to the florid postern in most respects, but also allows you to repick your character by offering the portal a moon rock idol. Well, it's been a blast, Wilson, but I'm done with you now. Say goodbye! As you can see, Wilson dropped all of his inventory items at the gate for me. It's the same world, the same time and day, and everything. I'll say that the character reselection process does seem to wipe your knowledge of crafting recipes, but that shouldn't be too big of a deal if you have a functional base with an alchemy engine and shadow manipulator already set up. This has some really cool implications for late game worlds. You can spend most of your time chilling as Wes and then turn yourself into Wolfgang to fight the ancient fuel weaver, or Wickerbottom to make a tentacle trap for the bee queen. I'm sure there'll be some additional features or uses for this that I've overlooked in my excited frenzy. Feel free to speak up in the comments. Later!